Moscow Oblast, or Podmorstovye, is a federal subject of Russia. Its area, at 45,900 square kilometers, is relatively small compared to other federal subjects. But it is one of the most densely populated regions in the country and, with the population of 7,231,068, is the second most populous federal subject. There is no official administrative center of Moscow Oblast. Its public authorities are located in Moscow and across other locations in the Oblast. The Oblast was founded in 1929. It borders TVER Oblast in the northwest, Yaroslavl Oblast in the north, Vladimir Oblast in the northeast and east, Ryazan Oblast in the southeast, Tula Oblast in the south, Kaluga Oblast in the southwest and Smolensk Oblast in the west. In the center stands the federal city of Moscow, which is a separate federal subject in its own right. The oblast is highly industrialized, with its main industrial branches being metallurgy, oil refining, and mechanical engineering, food, energy, and chemical industries. Geography Relief The oblast is mostly flat, with some hills with a height of about 160 meters in the western and extensive lowlands in the eastern part, from the southwest to northeast. The oblast is crossed by the border of the Moscow Glacier to the north of the common ice erosion form with moraine ridges, and to the south, only erosional land forms. The western and northern parts of the oblast contain the Moscow uplands. Their average height peaks at about 300 meters near Dimitrov and the upper point of 310 meters lies near the village of Shapkino in Mojaisky district. The northern part of the Moscow uplands is steeper than the southern part. The uplands contain lakes of glacial origin, such as Lake Snurskoy and Krugloy. To the north of the Moscow uplands lies the alluvial Vernefoltsisk depression. It is marshy and flat with the height varying between about 120 meters and 150 meters. To the south stretches a hilly area of the Moskvoretsko OKSK plain. Its greatest height of 254 meters lies in the area of Tyoplistan, within the Moscow city limits. The plain has clearly defined river valleys, especially in the south parts, and occasional karst relief, mostly in Serpukhovsky district. In the extreme south, after the Oka River, lies the central Russian upland. It contains numerous gullies and ravines and has average height above 200 meters with the maximum of 236 meters near Pushchino. Most of the eastern part of Moscow Oblast is taken by the vast Meshchera lowlands with much wetland in their eastern part. Their highest hill peaks at 214 meters but the average heights are 120 to 150 meters. Most lakes of the lowlands, such as lakes Kyornoi and Svirtoi, are of glacial origin. Here lies the lowest natural elevation of the region, the water level of Oka River at 97 meters. Geology and Minerals Geology Moscow Oblast is located in the central part of the East European Craton. Like all cratons, the latter is composed of the crystalline basement and sedimentary cover. The basement consists of Archean and Proterozoic rocks and the cover is deposited in the Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic eras. The lowest depth of the basement is to the south of Cerebria near Prudy, in the very south area of the oblast, and the largest is to the east of Sergeyev Passad, in the northeast region. Tertiary deposits are almost absent within the oblast. Significantly more abundant of deposits of the Carboniferous and Jurassic periods. In the Cretaceous period, a sea was covering Moscow Oblast, as evidenced by phosphate deposits and a variety of sands. Cretaceous sediments are most common in the north of the Oblast. The sea was wider in Jurassic than in Cretaceous period. Typical Jurassic deposits, in the form of black clay, are found within and around the city of Moscow and in the valley of the Moscow River. Carboniferous deposits in Moscow Oblast are represented by dolomite, limestone, and marl. Cold deposits rich in organic remains occur in the south, especially in Serpukhovsky district, and in the western regions. 
Devonian deposits were also found within the region. Quaternary deposits are widely distributed in Moscow Oblast. Their thickness decreases from the northwest to southeast. It is believed that there were four glaciations in the area. The first occurred in the lower Pleistocene and spread to the east-west part of the Oka River Valley. It left almost no trace in the region. In the middle Pleistocene, there were two powerful glaciations. The Dnieper glacier covered a large part of the Russian plain, whereas the Moscow glaciation stopped just south of the present Moscow city. The last glaciation, Valde glaciation, occurred in the late Pleistocene. It did not directly affect the territory of Moscow Oblast, but left traces in the form of fluvial glacial deposits, mainly in the north area. The glaciers left behind a moraine loam with pebbles and boulders of various rocks, such as granite, gneiss, quartzite, dolomite, limestone and sandstone. Its thickness varies between a few meters at watersheds and 100 meters at moraine ridges. Minerals Moscow Oblast is rich in minerals. Sands from the sediments of different periods are of high quality and are widely used in construction. Quartz sand is used in the glass industry. The production is conducted from the end of 17th century near Lyubat Sea. Much of the production is currently halted due to environmental concerns and only the Yeganovskoy field is being exploited. Its silica sand reserves are 33 million tons and annual production reaches 675,000 tons. Sand and gravel deposits are abundant within the Smolensk Moscow upland. Sandstone deposits are developed in Klinsky and Dmitrovsky districts. There are numerous clay deposits within the oblast. Fusible clay is excavated in Sergeyev Passad. The Yeldij and Skoy fields near the village of Sofrino has reserves estimated at 30 million cubic meters. Its annual production reaches 600,000 cubic meters. Refractory white clay occurs in the eastern region, in the Carboniferous and Jurassic sediments, and is extracted from the 14th century near GZHEL. The largest deposit is near the town of Electroli with the reserves of 3 billion tons. Also widespread are loams which are used in brick manufacture and limestones. The famous Myachkovo deposit of Carboniferous limestone provided material which went for cladding of such buildings in Moscow as Bolshoi Theatre. The mining in Myachkovo had been stopped and currently, limestone is provided by the quarries of Podolsky, Poskri Sensky, and Kolomensky districts. The latter district also provides marble-like limestone. Other industrial mineral of Moscow Oblast is dolomite, limestone tuff, and mal, mostly in the southern and eastern parts. Dolomite is used in the cement industry. Its mining is concentrated mainly near Shelkovo. The reserves exceed 20 million tons and the annual production is about 650 tons. Phosphates are produced in the Yegorevskoy and Severskoy fields. Meshchera and Verknefoltsis Klolans are rich in peat. The largest mines are Ryazanovsko and Radovitsky Moss, both around Yegorevsk. There are deposits of brown coal beyond the Oka River, but they have no commercial value. There are also minor deposits of titanium and iron ore in Serpukovsky and Cerebrianoprudsky districts. Salts of potassium salt are being developed around Serpukov and Yegoriesk. There are also numerous mineral springs near the Vinigarot, Kling, and Serpukov. They include surface springs and reservoirs at the depth of 300 to 500 meters. Deeper, at 1 minus 1.5 kilometers there is a large sea of salt extending beyond Moscow Oblast. Waters with the salt concentration up to 300 grams L are used in the local food industry and spas. Climate The climate of Moscow Oblast is humid continental, with clearly expressed seasonality, short but warm summers and long, cold winters. The continentality increases from northwest to southeast. The period of the average temperature below 0 degrees Celsius lasts 130 to 150 days, beginning in early or mid-November and ending in late March. 
The average annual temperature varies from plus 3.5 degrees Celsius to plus 5.5 degrees Celsius. The coldest months are January and February with the average temperature of minus 9 degrees Celsius in the west and minus 12 degrees Celsius in the east. With the arrival of Arctic air, the temperature drops to below minus 20 degrees Celsius that may last up to 20 days during the winter. With the temperatures reaching minus 45 degrees Celsius, the minimum temperature of minus 54 degrees Celsius was observed in Narofominsk. Thaws often occur in December and February due to the Atlantic, and rarely the Mediterranean cyclones. The thaws usually last several days, and their total number from November to March can reach 50. Snow starts accumulating in November, though sometimes in September or December, and disappears in mid-April. The snow depth is 25 to 50 centimeters and the soil freezes to 65 to 75 centimeters. The warmest month is July with the average temperature of plus 18.0 degrees Celsius in the northwest and plus 20.0 degrees Celsius in the southeast. The maximum temperature of plus 40 degrees Celsius was recorded in Columna during 2010 Northern Hemisphere summer heat waves. The average annual rainfall is 450 to 650 mm, the precipitation is maximal in the northwestern and minimal in the southeastern regions. The summer precipitation is usually 75 mm, but severe droughts occur once in 25 to 30 years, with less than 5 mm of rain over June-August. Rivers and lakes There are more than 300 rivers with the length above 10 km in Moscow Oblast. All rivers are calm and have well-developed valleys and floodplains. They are mostly fed by melting snow and the flood falls on April-May. The water level is low in summer and increases only with heavy rain. The rivers freeze over from late November until mid-April. The only navigable rivers are the Volga, the Oka, and the Moskva River. The second largest river of the region is the Oka. The northern part of Moscow Oblast includes such Volga tributaries as the Shosha, the Lama, the Dubna, the Sestra, and the Yakroma. On the south flow the tributaries of the Oka, including the Nara, the Protva, and the Lopanya rivers. The Moskva River, which almost entirely flows within the oblast, also belongs to the Oka Basin. The eastern and northeastern regions, including much of Meshusk Depression, are irrigated by the tributaries of the Klyazma River, which itself is a main tributary of the Oka. The Moscow Canal crosses the northern part of Moscow Oblast through the Ikshinskyo, Klyazminskoy, Pyalovskoy, and Pestovskoy reservoirs. In the basin of the Moskva River, there are also Osininskoy, Mojeskoy, Istrinskoy, and Ruza reservoirs, providing Moscow with drinking water. There are about 350 lakes in the oblast, almost all are shallow and many are of glacial origin. The largest are Cernes and Sviato, whereas the deepest is Lake Lubokoye in Rusky district. There are also many marshes, especially within the Meshchusk and Verknefoltsus lowlands. Soils The oblast is dominated by relatively infertile pod sill soils which require fertilizers for commercial agriculture. On the hills there is more loam and the low-lying areas have more of bog, sandy loam and sand. Chernozem is scarce and occurs only south of the Oka River. Grey forest soils are spread between the Oka, Moskva, and Klyazma rivers, mostly in Ramensky and Voskresensky districts. Marshy soils are common in Meshchusk and Verknefoltsis lowlands. Valleys of large rivers are rich in alluvial soils. In general, soils are heavily polluted with chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and household and industrial waste, especially around Moscow, Orekovo Zuyevo, Noginsk, and Voskresensk. Flora Moscow Oblast lies within the zone of forests and steppes with forests covering over 40% of the region. Coniferous trees dominate the northern and western parts. Forests of Meshchora consist primarily of pine. In waterlogged lowlands, there are individual older forests. 
central and eastern regions have coniferous deciduous forests with the main tree species of spruce, pine, birch, and aspen often mixed with bushes of hazel. To the south lies the subzone of broad-leaved forests of oak, lime, maple, and elm. Moscow ochre upland is the transition zone which is dominated by spruce. For example, in the upper reaches of the Low Panya River, valleys of the ochre are covered in pine forests of the steppe type and the far south regions are cultivated steppes with occasional lime and oak groves. The intensive cutting of Moscow regen forests in the 18-19th centuries reduced them and changed their species. Conifers were replaced by birch and aspen. There is almost no logging nowadays and the forests are being restored, especially around Moscow. Swamps are prevalent in the eastern areas, such as Shatorsky and Lukovitsi districts. The natural floodplain meadows are almost gone. The number of native plant species is reduced but some foreign species flourish, such as Canadian maple. Endemic species include water caltrip and ladies slipper. Fauna The mammals of Moscow Oblast include badger, squirrel, beaver, otter, muskrat, stoat, Russian desmond, raccoon dog, hedgehog, hare, shrews. Weasel, fox, moose, wild boar, European mole, brown and black rats, marten, mice and voles, European mink, dare, hazel and fat dormouse, and European polecat. At the borders there are occasional bears, lynxes and wolves. In the southern areas there are also speckled ground squirrel, dwarf hamster, great jaboa and beech marten. Some areas contain stable populations of imported animals, such as flying squirrel, American mink and Siberian roe deer. In the oblast, there are more than a dozen kinds of bat and moth. There are more than 170 species of birds in the area with large numbers of crows, sparrows, ducks, magpies, woodpeckers, thrushes, grouses, bullfinches, nightingales, corncrakes, northern lapwings, white storks, grey herons, seagulls and grebes. Over 40 species are being hunted. Rivers and lakes of Moscow Oblast are rich in fish, such as ruff, carp, bream, bass, roaches, Chinese sleeper, perch and pike. There are six species of reptiles, three lizards and three snakes. There is evidence for bog turtles in some areas. Amphibians are represented by 11 species including smooth newt, great crested newt, common toad, European green toad, common frog, small frog, marsh frog, common spade foot and European fire-bellied toad. Insects are numerous, with bees alone accounting for more than 300 species. In Serpakovsky district, there is the Pryaksko Terrasny Nature Reserve which contains protected wisents. Near Moscow lies Luzhny Ostrov National Park of Federal Significance, Stoat, Lesser White-Toothed Shrew, Roe Deer Fawn, Eurasian Harvest Mouse, Great Crested Grebe. History The territory of what is now Moscow Oblast had been inhabited for more than 20,000 years. Numerous mounds and settlements from Iron Age were discovered there. Up to the 9-10th centuries, the Moskva River Basin and adjacent lands were inhabited by Finno-Ugric peoples. Slavs populated the area only in the 10th century. In mid-12th century, the lands became part of Vladimir Suzdal Principality. Several important cities were founded around that time, including Valokolamsk, Moscow, Zvenigorod, and Dmitrov. In the first half of the 13th century, the entire Vladimir Suzdal Principality, including the Moscow area, was conquered by the Mongols. In the 13th century, the land around Moscow was part of Grand Duchy of Moscow, which subsequently was the center of the unification of Russian lands in particular the Mongol raids. In 1380, from Kolomna the Prince Dmitri Donskoy led his troops to defeat the Mongols at the Battle of Kulikufo. The southern part of Moscow Oblast was then part of the Principality of Ryazan. It was attached to Moscow only in the 1520s. In 1708, Moscow Governorate was established by the decree of Peter the Great. The area included most of the present Moscow Oblast. 
the Battle of Borodino, which decided the outcome of the French invasion of Russia was fought in 1812 near Mozhaisk. Industries developed in Moscow Oblast in the 1719th centuries. They were centered in Bogorods, Pavlovsky Passad, and Orekovo Zuyevo and were dominated by textile production. The first railway in Russia was constructed in the Moscow Oblast in 1851, connecting Moscow and St. Petersburg, and in 1862 the line to Nizhny Novgorod was opened. Central Industrial Oblast was established by the All-Russian Central Executive Committee on 14 January 1929. It included the abolished Moscow, Ryazan, Tver, Tula, Vladimir, and Kaluga governorates. The oblast was divided into ten okrugs and had the administrative center in Moscow. On 3 June 1929, the oblast was renamed Moscow Oblast and on 30 July 1930, the division into ten okrugs was abolished. Parts of the then bulky Moscow Oblast were gradually transferred to other divisions. In particular, 26 districts became part of Kalinin Oblast in January 1935, and another 77 districts were separated in September 1937 as Tula and Ryazan Oblasts. Borovsky, Vysokonichsky, Malo Yaroslavetsky, Ugodsko-Zavodsky, and Petushinsky districts were transferred in 1944 to Kaluga and Vladimir Oblasts. In 1941-1942, one of the most significant military operations of World War II, the Battle of Moscow was fought in the Moscow Oblast. According to the Constitution of Russia, adopted in December 1993, Moscow Oblast is one of the 83 federal subjects of Russia.